Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. Nice quiet Monday morning. Conducive time for a video. No people noise. If I try hard enough I could even um, imagine the um, ceaseless seething mess of normie gobshites don't exist. What a pleasant thought <laughs> in this time of uh, craziness. Um, but while we're busy doing the all-important inner work on ourselves, it's very important to, um, let's call it, do some weeding and pruning when it comes to um, social contact with your fellow human beings, whether it be online or real life. Because these days it's becoming more important to be very mindful of who is um, who you allow within your social circle. Um, because everything being energy, energy affects other energy and other people affect your own state of mind. And <clears throat> when you've come to know people, you've befriended them, um, you have known them enough and continued along the, the social um, journey with them enough to call them friend. And um, some friends stay with you for a very long time, some for the rest of your life. However, some kind of go a little bit wonky and um, go off the off the rails and start to indulge in fuckery of various kinds, whether it be drama or whatever it is. Um, which, being with spending any time with them, you feel worse for the experience. Drained, sad. Um, agitated, angry, whatever. And that's when you need to <clears throat> ask whether it's a good idea to keep them in your life or not, especially when you're dealing with your own crap. <clears throat> because um, life is short and energy is a precious commodity. And especially when we're being bombarded by constant fear-mongering by the mainstream propaganda machine. And you have people whom you became friends with online who um, showed themselves to be jealous, game-playing gobshites. Um, you need to for your own sanity, remove yourself, remove these people from your, from your life. And I did just that, just now, actually. Um, person I was friends with online and they decided to be jealous gobshites for whatever fucking reason. Um, we, at the time, we engaged in, um, creative writing together and uh, this person became jealous and went sort of weird and uh, started to really exhibit um, leeching, energy leeching um, mindfuck um, behavior which is never good for anyone um, and now this person sent a hello it's been a long time um i just had a look at your um your wall you know the on facebook and uh they said that they sh <laughs> they showed their intense ignorance of reality that they're the kind of person who believes every single thing mainstream media tells them and goes along with it and presents that as fact 
Oh, why do you think it's a Scandinavian and I live in New York and, you know, people are gasping for breath and dying in the streets and la 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 la. Um, including people who are dying from a heart attack and being um, classed as a COVID-19 death. Those people, really? Or um, people who die from um, ex pre-existing respiratory life-threatening issues and happen to die from these pre-existing issues and are classed as a COVID-19 death? Those people? Really? So, of course, I deleted this person. I really don't know why I um, kept this person on my friend list out of loyalty, I suppose. That's that's one, um, one of our human f failings, loyalty. Um, well, the problem is loyalty projected to undeserving people is unfair to yourself and the sooner you remove drama loving malevolent worshipping gobshites from your life you re retain your own sanity and you have no no hard feelings you don't hate any of them it's just you're in a totally different space goodbye simple as that um i mean i've had a guy I was friends with since high school and we always seem to hang around quite well and enjoy our times um, however if I didn't make the effort he never did so I thought you know what okay goodbye and I never contacted him again and you know what I never heard from him again that's just the way it goes um, I mean hell people on people online who you've become friends with and they involve themselves in all manner of fuckery infamy and drama and fuck knows why and you are not in that mind space and you wish to retain your own sanity well you just quietly disconnect and move away and carry on on your journey and you know what that's perfectly okay um too many people still carry on the um, the remnants of the Abrahamic gobshite mentality of the, the martyr. Being a friend with someone and turning the other cheek and showing them your, your, your parted bum cheeks, in other words. It doesn't work that way. Um, if someone's going to be sort of resonating at a certain energy frequency in their emotional, mental um, content which is vastly different on a different level than yours well guess what goodbye well people who are really um good people who you, you enjoy spending time with and um they bring a smile to your face guess what you hang on to those people just like last night when i was on a um on a live stream from one of the uh the john talk the fellow john talks um acolytes there were three of us guys we uh we got on um one of the live streams and we had a f fucking great time <laughs> uh so you 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 two guys you know who you are you're fucking legends and uh i had a great time and a great evening and i will enjoy talking to these guys again that's the way it goes don't be afraid to be selective with the people you have around you in real life and online it's very important for your sanity and guilt trips don't do anyone any good especially yourself uh, the lone wolf on guitar out <laughs>